Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivel. Today, uh, we'll we'll see an optional topic. Again, this is not mandatory, but if you if you like to have uh, uh, some good knowledge uh, on data provider, you, you you know we can uh, you can see, watch this topic. Otherwise, this is not a mandatory section that we will be used in our framework. Okay, so this this video we gonna see how we can. Uh, use json with a data provider right so normally people drive their uh, uh, test using data provider which which gets the data from its excel sheet that's that's what more you know we have a lot of tutorials teaching the same but uh, in your case in your company in your project maybe you know you have test data in a form of json or you know in, in an xml or in a yaml file okay you can have it in any any form okay uh, how how can we utilize that to, you know to to uh, Uh, feed the data to the data provider right so we can see how we can do that and uh, uh, we'll see why why json when we have excel because it may be your project requirement uh, or you can still you know excel is certain a certain operating system doesn't support excel or you need to have a valid microsoft license to use excel you know so those kind of things yeah so it json is again lightweight again in our case we are using uh, json and excel just for one time reading so i i wouldn't say like we can save huge amount of time maybe couple of seconds we can save so performance wise there's not much difference but if you have project demands that you have test data in a form of json instead of excel then you can directly use this and we will we'll see how we can use json with data providers that's the crux of our video anyways and we'll also see what are the other files we can use so the concept remains the same so whether you use an excel json yaml or xml file whatever may be the concept remain the same right so only thing is you need to read the value So put it in an object array and feed it to your uh, data provider data provider will take care of feeding it to uh, your test method so the concept remain the same so i'm, I'm going to just cover with json so you can you can take it forward to you know use it with other other files as well uh, we can we use json instead of property file in our framework again performance wise we couldn't we will not get much out of it but uh, again if you want to use a json instead of property file you, you will also get an idea how to how to do that in our framework because this was requested by one of uh, one of the subscribers in the comment section so i thought maybe i'll cover that uh, for them okay so without wasting much time i think uh, we can go to the talk space and then start working again i don't want to waste much time so i have already uh, taught a lot about data provider so if you are new here I, i i request you to watch the previous section so that you can understand what data provider is how data provider works and all of the stuff so here i'm going to quickly cover how we can uh, read the data from a json and feed it to the data provider right so for example so this is my project i have already created two config files so this is uh, my first set of test data um, suppose i have a test method uh first iteration i want to use this particular set of test data and second iteration i want to use this with the particular set of test data okay so the chrome previously it was firefox so there are little changes so this is just a dummy data so don't worry about it too much so we have you know i uh, i have two J json files which i which i want to use to run the test method so this is the test method i have uh, denoted the data provider which is get data and uh, i i am also uh, to parse json into a, ma a hash map okay like previously we thought you know uh, we used hash map right just to reduce the number of parameters uh, to the test methods again if you have not watched the vi uh, previous video please do watch that uh, to that uh, clear understanding of what's happening here so so what i'm going to do i have uh, added two dependencies one is uh, jackson data bind and jackson core again there are multiple ways you can read a data from a json okay we used apache poi to read it from an excel right so same way to read it from a json there are multiple ways you can there are a lot of other libraries available but jackson is one of the easiest library to convert your json into a hash map okay so let's uh, let's go to the method and then see, check so what i have this object mapper is coming from your Jack, jackson library if you notice this is coming from com.fostrxml jackson data bind okay this this uh, this this i am creating an object for this and there is a method dot read value which will accept a file what file you want to read so i am giving the path src test resources config.json this is the path that it has and uh, what type of uh, how do you Uh, you know how do you want to convert this json file to that's what it's asking i'm telling convert to a hash map okay you can you can also simply specify uh, 
uh, here uh, just a hash map okay just hash map dot class okay but java compiler will tell you uh, you know the safety type safety the expression of type hash map needs to tell what what kind of object you are going to store there okay i want to know what you want to store there that's the reason okay we want to use like this okay so we want to create an object for type type reference and then you just use like this okay so now uh, we have read the first json file and convert it into a hash map which has a key and the object so again in our case it's just uh, you know it's just a simple string comma string so you can even use a string comma string here but in in some case you can have a you know a json array or json object okay so in that case you might have to store it in an object that's the reason i have my value as uh, object okay object type same way i have read the second hash map okay this is nothing difference only difference is the file name okay that's the only difference uh, now i have two hash maps right so what i can do i can simply return an object array uh, which which holds a uh, map 1 and map 2 so what will happen if you have a one dimensional uh, object array it will be uh, ran uh, the number of uh, times uh, it has the elements so if there are two elements it will run two times and the number of uh, parameters that will be fed into your method is the map that is only one argument again i am using a i don't for each loop uh, for each loop with uh, with java 8 implementation uh, consumer by consumer in, uh, in implementation but if you want to use a conventional way of iterating using map dot entry you can do that as well so it's a, it's, it's actually storing string comma object okay and you can name it anything and what is map dot get so i think map dot entry set okay so With this uh, you can also use a normal way of iterating a map and then print all the values so m dot get key and i want to m dot get value so this is what we want if you want to you don't want to use this way okay that's it so let's try to run it and see whether the test is running with two set of test data okay we want to run this particular test with two set of test data yes test run is two and if you notice it even printed all the key and value pairs that we have in our uh, config json so this is really cool so even if you look at the test ng results it has feed it with the test 1 2 3 4 test 1 2 3 browser firefox chrome everything is working fine so that you can use json file uh, you know with the data provider uh, to feed it to your test method again it's not just json file you can use anything but the only thing is you need to use a different parsing mechanism here we used jackson in case of excel we used apache poi if it is yaml uh, or other stuff you can use a csv you can use net notepad file whatever may be it doesn't matter all all you have to do is just pass the information put it in a one dimensional or two dimensional object array or whatever the array you like right so if you know the exact type you can also mention the type of the array here okay so this is uh, just an idea about how we can use that and what all we have what all the again i told this other files we can use any files only the passing mechanism differs can we use json instead of property file in framework this is one of the question that's been uh, asked by the subscriber right so we will try to cover that okay. this is the property uh, utils class that we have generated right so now you also learned how to read a json file and then uh, you know uh, convert into form of hash map this is what we have done we have read property file and then we have converted into a hash map okay since you know the approach you can also do that so maybe i'll quickly cover that that's not a big deal so let me quickly create a, a json utils okay dot java and most importantly i need to add the dependency so let me copy it from there so this is the two dependency that you need okay copy it and go to the selenium mode automation framework this is our uh, main framework right so i'm going to add it here just save the file okay now we will we'll copy the entire thing from here okay this is what uh, the idea is same okay so just the difference is we are going to read it from json okay i don't need this anyways okay this is json utils okay and i know i don't need this at all this is not needed i don't even need to iterate all these things okay so i can just simply say okay config map okay equal to new object mapper k 
Okay, just one minute. New object mapper. Uh, and then there is a read value method which is going to accept. Uh, you can directly pass. Uh, okay, this. And then the file is this. You can directly pass a file, right? So maybe I'll directly pass a file. Okay, say new file. you can pass the file file path control shift and move okay and you can for now i'm just putting hash map dot class so everything remains the same only thing is uh, we used uh, json to get the config file okay suppose if you want to store all the properties that we have in the form of config you can do that it's throwing map may not have been initialized. Okay, I think there is some problem here. Okay, okay I need to initialize, I can initialize it here itself. It's not going to change much. Good, so I think uh, everything is fine now. Uh, okay, uh, you can remove the final modifier, maybe. Good, so. Now the same thing. So you don't have to touch anything here. Everything will work absolutely fine. So, so only difference is you need to just give the path of the, uh, no, I don't need this at all. Just give the path of the JSON file. Again, you can, you have to create a, a variable in the constants class. Okay. If you go here, you have to create a config JSON path and then you have to provide the path there. Okay. That's the only thing you have to do. Uh, okay. Uh, apart from that, everything remains the same. Uh, so, I hope I have answered your question. So if you like the channel, please do subscribe, uh, share it with your friends, guys. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in another interesting video. Thank you.